two or three days ago, I got an email from one of my clients in Australia. Uh, Dr. Stephen brought me down to Australia, provided we meet with enough clients to work for a weekend, uh, and it, it was a thrill. Uh, if you've never been there, uh, it's different than any place else in the world. Fascinating. But anyway, we, I got talking, I would just emailed him and said, you know, how's it going? What are you up to? And uh, his life apparently is going pretty well. Uh, he, after he did a class, he didn't contact me for quite some time, and he said, I'm going to be careful when I bring you back. He said, everything I asked for uh, happened. And he said, it happened so fast, I didn't, I, he said, I haven't even had a chance to call you or email you. But he wrote to me the other day, and he said, you know, I, I, one of the things, I mean, the title of my book, Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing, is, comes from a variety of things. One of my clients said, this is what I learned from you. Uh, another one, uh, Dr. Savage wrote, he said, I use that a lot. He said, because it's true, a lot of times, uh, just to notice something, not to make something up, not to go into it, not to pretend you know what it's about, just to notice it and move on. Uh, example, let's say you're sad and you don't, and you just notice it, uh, and you want to be in a different state. Sometimes just noticing it and then going to a place of happiness works. It, it could be denial, but uh, denial may be a river in Egypt. Uh, but Dr. Stephen wrote to me, and he said, one of the things I use quite a lot is is it me? Uh, in my classes, uh, I'll ask you, how are you different? First I'll ask you, are you the same or different? But that's the other video that I did the other day. Um, but I'll say, what's different? How are you different right now? And when people notice how, what is different about themselves, sometimes I'll ask them if it's theirs. And I'll tell you, it brings up either pissed off or curiosity. <laughs> of course it's mine. I don't know, what are you talking about? Well. I said the other day we've got millions of miles of nervous tissue, we pick up sensations from outside, and a lot of times we pick up uh, sensations from other people. Uh, our mind, that reptilian little voice in our head that wants us to believe that it knows what's going on, uh, oft times we'll pick up a signal, interpret it, make a conclusion about it, and then it becomes ours. When it is just a stray signal, it doesn't have much to do with us. Uh, it may be a communication from somebody directly to us. Uh, or it may just be a stray. Uh, I was in a health food store in Houston a few years ago, standing in line, and I got severe stomach cramps and bent over and thought, I've got stomach cancer, and I chuckled at the thought. I thought, well, this is kind of stupid. But I looked around, and there was somebody, two people in front of me, and she was, I don't know how old, old, old either you know, 60 or 400 years old, and in pain, hanging onto the counter, under the cash counter, and... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was her pain and pretty sure it was her thought. Now had I grabbed on that and said this is yours, I may have been able to create cancer in my system. So it's a worthwhile exercise. A lot of times if you do it without blame or judgment, just looking around, it brings you right to present time consciousness and you go, wow, what a mystifying world. I wonder why that person was communicating with me right now. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com